A feel good story for you now. A Tip City teen is taking the cross country sport by storm. This weekend, Sam Wharton won the Nike National Meet in Portland, Oregon. Megan O'Rourke caught up with the runner at school today. She's live now with his story. Sam tells me he's been running distance since the seventh grade, but it was this weekend at a messy meet in Oregon that he raced his way to the top as the fastest teen in the country. Well, Sam Wharton leads this race. Uh, there were 199 boys in my race. And Sam Wharton beat 198 of them. But he'll be the first to tell you it wasn't pretty. The Nike Cross Country Nationals course was a muddy mess. You can see the splashing in this video of the event given to us by Runnerspace.com and Nike. Sam says this section of the course wasn't even the worst of it. I think the start was actually a pretty nice stretch. There was some good footing, so at least it wasn't uh, just a slip and slide at the start, but then once you got out onto the course, it got really, really uh, just sloppy, and you were missing steps everywhere, and uh, it was just rough. So rough, Sam won the 3.17 mile long race in just over 17 minutes, almost two minutes slower than when he won states. I ran 15.09 at state, 17.06 at nationals. It was the happiest, slowest race of my life. <laughs> Sam's coach says it's a testament of his star runner's dedication. His pain threshold is incredible. What, the level it, which he runs at, uh, these kids are under a lot of mental and physical duress, and he's able to withstand that. And that's what separates him from the pack. And Tippa Canoe cross country coach Byron Kimmel says Wharton's win extends far beyond the record books. He says Sam is changing the sport. You have kids talking about him in the hallways. I teach sixth grade, and there's just a buzz in the hallways about him. Kids are asking about him, and they're asking about what's cross country, how far is it. For Wharton, the newfound fame is humbling, and while winning the race is a huge accomplishment, he'll tell you it's the reaction from friends and family here at home that's been the sweetest part of his recent success. Uh, to come back here and just have the support from the entire community and everything, it was really, really special. And despite the whim, Sam will tell you there are days where running still feels like work, but that work is paying off. He's in the process of narrowing down Division I colleges right now where he plans to continue running cross country. Congratulations, Sam. Reporting live, Megan O'Rourke, 2 News.